Nessa Sunshine here, and today we're getting into the ColourPop times Disney, the Disney Designer Collection, the Masquerade Palette. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. So this is the Midnight Masquerade Palette. It's beautiful, the artwork is beautiful. Just it's just beautiful like it's it feels so Disney when I look into this box with the um, collection I think of VHS tapes and that reminds me of my childhood so I'm like oh my gosh Disney it's just so pretty the artwork is so beautiful I don't know this is like how Christmas feels to me like this collection makes me feel like Christmas I know that's really really weird but yeah, it just makes me really, really happy because I love Disney. I love princesses. I think this is beautiful. I love makeup. I love Colourpop. I'm like, it's all together. It's all together. So I'm really, really excited. I just think it's such a beautiful... This is, to me, this is probably the most beautiful collection in regards to makeup. I just love the artwork. Oh, the artwork is so beautiful. Like, even on this box, the box is so, I don't know if this is the PR box or if this is also the box that you get in the collection. Um, I'm not sure. I'll put more info in the description box if you are interested in knowing more. At this current moment, I don't know. I'm filming early. <laughs> so if you do want to see how I get this eye look mainly, we're focusing on the palette. That's what I do here on my channel. I do a lot of eye looks and yeah, so if you want to get this eye look well, make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get into the tutorial. First shadow I'll be getting into is Damsel and I will be using the ColourPop F5 brush. So I'm taking this big fluffy brush into the outer corner, taking more and I'm going to continue to move it in swiper motion. And I'll blend it all the way across. I'm gonna sweep it kind of all over the whole entire eyelid, really the brow bone above the crease area. And I'm really getting this color blended all throughout the eyelid. And then what I'll do, I'm just swiping it out in this outer, outer corner. I'm going to go ahead and add a damsel to the other eye. The next shadow I'll be getting into is New Dream and I'll be taking the ColourPop E2 blending brush. And I'm going to start to move it in swiper motions in the outer corner. I'm taking more of New Dream and adding it into the outer corner and just blending in tiny swiper motions trying to build up and concentrate the shadow right in here. I'm taking more of New Dream and blending it in the crease, above the crease, mainly in the crease of the eye, and bringing it higher in the outer corner, sort of winging it. When I was blending it in the crease, above the crease, I was holding it straight on, so the very tip and point of the brush was just blending right in there in the crease. Same thing with going outward and then I start to tilt my brush and hold it like a pencil and use the edge of the brush and the tip and blending it up to sort of the tail of my eyebrow so it's like winging out. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll add a new dream to the other side. I think I might add a little bit more actually. I'm going to take even more of new dream in this outer corner and blend it in the crease. I'm taking the very tip of the brush and blending in swiper motions and blending it, blending away. Take my big fluffy brush and blend the very top edges like that. Okay, so um, go ahead and add a new dream to the other side if you're following along. So what I'm gonna do to cut my crease today, I'm gonna take the ColourPop Close to You Jelly Much Shadow. And to cut my crease, I'll be using the ColourPop E3 brush. In double time, I'm applying the Jelly Much above the creases of the eyelid. Then I fill in the inner corner of the mobile eyelid. And then I look down and kind of raise my brow to smooth out what I did. But before when I kind of make the mark above the crease, I just keep my eye relaxed. And then I continue to the outer middle part of the eye above the crease. And then I fill in and I continue to do this sort of motion and then smooth out and I lift my brow and sort of raise you know raise my brow and, and smooth my lid that way and smooth out the crease and I just continue to add the jelly much as much as needed <laughs> to really get the crease out and, uh, and about and I didn't really want to talk while I did this part because you know cutting the crease if you've ever cut the crease sometimes people can talk but today I just I could not I just needed to focus the next shadow we'll get into is Spinning Wheel, and I'll be using the ColourPop E5 brush. I'm going to start brushing Spinning Wheel in the inner corner, and I'm moving it out and up, 
One of the reasons I chose the pink jelly much is because it um, it has a little bit of a pink reflect and I thought that would only enhance the pink in the shadow. So it's like, yes. And I'm just gonna press it over here and add more with my ring finger to really get that bright effect. Taking more with my ring finger and I'll just keep building it it is now glitter glitter time so i'm super excited we're gonna get into the glitter i'm using my handy dandy finger and then what i'm gonna do from there is add the pink glitter so i'm going to go in this very outer corner and start to tap the glitter i shouldn't have said very outer corner but like right kind of where we stopped I kind of did it at a, a diagonal a little bit. So in that diagonal where the um, lighter white pink shade meets the deeper pink color, I'm kind of moving it in that section. I'm gonna add more and I'm gonna kind of bring it down forward onto the lid with my finger and I'm, I just move my head kind of just so it, it's easier to move the glitter across. It's a little easier than moving my finger you can do it however you feel that you want. I'm gonna make sure that I am moving the glitter on the edge. So see, it's kind of like a diagonal. It's mostly going from the base here and then start to bring it up. So I would just move my head. That's basically what I did. I moved my head and then I kind of tapped my finger around. So I'll go ahead and add floating lantern to the other side, pop on some lashes. So I'll tell you what lashes I am using today. So the lashes I'm popping on today are the Lotus Lashes, the Arzabeth Lash. These are some of my favorite lashes. They're so pretty. They look really, really beautiful. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on off camera. I'm gonna do my face makeup off camera. So in a makeup miracle moment, we'll get back together. And voila, a makeup miracle moment has occurred. Let's get into the lower lash line. It's gonna be super simple and we'll finish this look off with a lip from the Rapunzel bundle. For the lower lash line, I'll be getting into the shadow Damsel and I'll be using the ColourPop E7 brush. So I'm just sweeping Damsel all across the lower lash line and kind of bringing it up into the outer corner. So what I'll do is add Damsel to the other side and then I'll pop on some mascara to my lower lashes as well and then I will show you the lip. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial using the Disney Designer Collection times ColourPop. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So I actually look through all of it and I think there are so many beautiful the artwork is just beautiful. I just can't get over how beautiful the artwork and the design and the details are. I love how each bundle has each box and, and just so pretty and even like the backs, like even the back of the um, different blush or highlights have a very pretty design as well. I didn't really show that. I love the touch of gold and the blue. It's just so, so, so pretty. I'm not like a super reviewer on this channel. Maybe I might become one, but I really love to do eye looks and tutorials and that's what I really focus on. So if you came here to see swatches, to get an in-depth review, that's not that's not happening here today, and I'm sorry if that's what you're looking for and you're not finding it. This is mainly a tutorial, so um, yeah. I'm just giving you my, my thoughts on this collection. I think it's beautiful. I think it's wonderful. I think it's fantastic. Oh, so beautiful. Like, there's no question. If you're a Disney lover and you like are obsessed with Disney, you'll love this. That, that's it. Like, if you love Disney. I think also if you love ColourPop and you love Disney, it's like, no question. Um, and makeup, it's like, duh, like what a great collaboration. I love it. So love, 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 I think it's beautiful and that's it for today. If you are going to pick up anything in this collection, if you're gonna pick up the palette or if you're gonna pick up some of the bundles or the whole collection, let me know, comment it down below. And if you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye, bye now.